Hello, this is Living Room Request. We have a request of a piece of John Darlin for Jeff and Andy called Me, Me and None But Me. Thank you very much, Jeff and Andy. Um, and if you want to request your own song, you can do so at patriciahammond.com forward slash request. This is true. More death ideation. Ooh, is that going to get us demonetized? I wonder. Just don't tick the box, then. It's I won't tick the that. box. Yeah. Um, one does more frequently than not encounter in music of this period of European composition. Um, it must have been death. cool. It must have been <laughs> I mean, cool. Like, it must. Have what been is the... a ratio? And if you were to oh. type it in a probability wheel, there's going to death be coming up. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's. it's it's a sort of well, the gothics, you know, they, they, the goth type people. They look back to the the likes of John Dowland. It, it was considered sexy, maybe. Maybe they, they all just swooned and went, no, don't, don't. Go to bed with me and uh, I'll make your life worth living. I don't know. Is, isn't well, that they, how it works with rock bands? You're in rock bands. They how does use, it work? They use death. What do groupies do? They use death to mean more than one thing, of course. But I mean. Not in this, I don't. This is just death, I think. Yeah, I think, I think it's this is straight sad. death. If you're a scholar of the music of Don, John Dowland, do give your professional, insightful opinion in the comments Why below. Why was it so cool? Why was it your... so cool? They, surely in those days you had enough death going on, you know. God, I mean, yeah. Well, whilst you're there, you can click the link in the description, which takes you to patriciahammond.com forward slash request to make your own. Not only of music of the Renaissance, the Middle Ages, medieval period, the 18th and 19th century, you can uh, request something from, hey, 2023, yet to be released. There you 
you go. If you know that there's some music being released in 2023. Never thought of that. That would be a very interesting You could request it in advance, knowing that we'll get to it in probably January 2023. There you go. We've now (laughs) passed 700 songs. We're on the road to 750. We are. Nobody believes this, but there we are. It's true. It's true. But yeah, thank you, Jeff and Andy. And Jeff and Andy have very much been part of this journey with all sorts of different kinds of requests. It wouldn't have been a journey without them. Yes, it was at last Christmas. It was it was your mean one, Mr. Grinch. And then I tried it in front of a whole bunch of children and and not, neither children nor parents in this country seem to have heard of it, which oh, was dear. extraordinary. I would have expected it was part of Christmas as a child. Anyway, um, so yeah, me, me and none but me. It was so. a pleasure to play that. Quite difficult to transpose music of this period because it uses a lot of unconventional uh, what's the word harmony that wasn't and the key that it was written in it no, was written, much higher. It, it was for four voices and and uh, you know the upper voice the soprano line it can be really is difficult to, to, to you've really got to engage so the brain high. because the relationship if anyone's interested in you know music theory and things like that there you go the in, the, over two the the in, the relationship between the chords is so different to the music that came immediately after and ever since yeah uh, which it's counterintuitive which is actually words. something that people love about that music as well as what we call that like polyphony of a comparable era don't they? they love that sort of wondering sort of mm. uh, i can't find a non-musical word for it what what how indeterminate how, yes, uh, unexpected, yeah unexpected unexpected and limbo it, liminal it liminal it allows can you say liminal to, it allows them to to just be taken with it whereas you know People then you come to a sing along type song that may be popular in the mid nineties. Yeah, uh, you need mid, inevitability there. Mid twentieth century to say the present day with certain folks and they go, Ah oh, yes, I sing along. Ah oh, yes, okay. I pick know up it. the cards on the you ukulele. Pick it up as you know, soon as you hear oh, it. Yes, da, dee, da, dee, you da. can anticipate it even. You know, I can't think of one. In this but... case, maybe it was sexy to sort of do something and, and not know whether you're gonna spend an extra long time on that note or yeah. whether it was going to Well, I understand it's word painting, right? Yeah. This yes. idle breath, that's yes. why we go to a tone higher than the tonic. But then it's like a breathing in and out. Oh, uh, idle breath. And we go in, and then we go back down to where we were, and then we go do, and then we breathe down again. I get I get that there's these sort of oh, sighing. You think he just plays. No, he listens to the words. <laughs> but uh, be interested to hear from others, other than Jeff and Andy, who are a fan of this sort of music and what it kind of... What it means to them musically, if at all. We'd love to hear that, from Jeff and Andy, actually. Um, they don't comment. They don't tend to comment, do that's they? That's not their style. Yeah, no. But uh, if, um, you, don't you know, have to. you see what I'm getting at. If, if it's something other than the emotional Oh, yeah. Did you like their choice? Music. Yeah. All right, let's pose for a little thumbnail. Oh, yes, thumbnail. Anyway, take my glasses off, something different. There it is. John Dowling. Can't look too too cheerful because it's called me. Oh, me. sorry. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Thoughtful. Um... But yeah, it, it's it's such right. a. Unfortunately, Patricia and I need to put the dehumidifier back on because it's winter here in the UK. Oh, it's so damp. And it's getting oh, very damp. Oh my golly! But it and meant that all the wrinkles in this fell right out because it was so damp. It's like a natural steaming. I can't uh, record the heat. with the dehumidifier on. Well, we could try. Here, you can have a sound check. Oh yeah, let's hear the dehumidifier. There it is. That means business. So that wouldn't have worked, and if it's not in the same room. You see, you buy these things. This is a, this is what, you know, <clears throat> this is an aside, but one buys these things and they say, it's oh, like it suits like this like many meters of space or this many square meters, and it doesn't. It suits it if it's a low modern warehouse, but you get, you know, Victorian Edwardian house, the high ceiling gaps and the, forget it, it doesn't suit. Note to everybody, completely off topic, but if you buy anything, humidifier, dehumidifier, heater, Buy it three or four times the, the meters squares that it says that it'll, um, or the square foot, because it doesn't cover it. I've got about five devices, none of them cover it. Um, and uh, a if, you'd, obsessive. if you'd really talk, talk, rather talk about that than, well, you know, I've had oh, a lot, I've any. had a lot of instruments crack and oh, break and uh, warp and go rusty. This is so true. Uh, so many times, okay. some irreparably, and I'm sick of it now. This is why I play this modern classical guitar. This was mine, um, you know, I think I had it when I was like 10 years old in the 1990s so basically it's fine it's really robust it's never correct it's the it's one got that goes a to the hospital shelly, every so wednesday yes. when we yeah. go to the hospital exactly. to perform that's right. the one that goes let's leave it there thank you very much for coming thank join you. her on patricia hammond songs on instagram see you later <laughs>